Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome to Rescue Dition, Rescue Dition, Rescue Mission Night 44. We have a couple of leaflings that we need to cure, and I, I'm not actually sure if we have the, the medicine to cure them. We can at least cure one, but I don't think we can cure multiple. Administer the, administer the cure at once. Okay, what, who is this guy? This one is... That one! Who are you? The Uncharted Planet Tourist, Boris, from the home planet of Kujio. An author struggling to write the follow-up to his best-selling debut novel, he hopes the demands of his editor won't find him here. Puff. That's... Sometimes you fly a little bit too close to the sun, and you realize that perfect is the enemy of good. And is that the only one that we're curing? It is. So I do... I do need to, uh... Go to the night missions. Hello. Hello. You rescued... <clears throat> you rescued all of my crew members. Now that's the kind of action I expect from a member of the rescue corps. Anyway, here's that reward I promised. Seriously, thank you. Nice. That's one quest. <laughs> Our camera is broken, so we won't be at capturing any new footage for a while. Still, that director of mine, he's probably cooking up some kind of scheme to get good footage. Yeah, he definitely is. And then, uh, Wolfgang. So, you're the one who saved me and my crew, huh? As the director, I'd like to say thank you on behalf of all of us. Unfortunately, our camera didn't fare so well, but that's life. We could have made something great here. Oh well. Ha! <laughs> Wow, I guess this whole ordeal has made me, me, realize something. Ratings are important, but they aren't everything. No, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. Until now, shock factor journalism has been my thing. Maybe I need to get, I need to revamp this mysterious death planet project. It's going to be tough. That desire to capture the most intense and awesome footage possible is hard to ignore. But on the other hand, it doesn't seem to give me the same rush that it used to. Could I just be stuck in a rut? Yeah, honey. I wouldn't be standing here today if not for the courage you showed during my rescue. This shipwreck has taught me so much. Hmm. Maybe that's what I've been missing all along. Courage. The courage to stand up and take fate into my own hands. I've always tried to capture intense and, in and awesome footage, but that effort is meaningless without the right subject. Maybe in the end, I've been saved in more ways than one. I was trapped by my obsession for high ratings and praise. I never saw what really mattered in life. But now I do. Success is not in the rush of a good rating. It's in the seeking of self-growth and a greater happiness. I feel like I've been able to reveal to you parts of my heart that even I didn't know existed. I think that's probably it. Thanks for listening. I think I know what to do next. By the way, you have a great presence. I've got this idea for a show called Bulbor Breakfast Battle. You'd be perfect. Ugh, I did it again. Just forget about that, okay? Old habits, you know? Just need to muster up a little more courage. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Wow, this guy has a lot of lines. Just need- okay, okay, that's- that's it. That's it. They wrote a lot for these guys. Hello. By comparing the names to my roster of tour participants, I confirmed on my end that everyone was rescued. We're making bank. Probably gonna be able to upgrade Ochi one last time. Or, yeah, his air armor, I think, is the only thing I've left. It isn't much, but please accept that. Oh, and if it's not too much hassle, could you provide a receipt later? Cool. What are you doing? Run every everywhere. <clears throat> Word is that you saved me. Thank you. I'm grateful. I'm Boris, an author who can't seem to write a single sentence anymore. Campeo. After witnessing the way you confront obstacles, I realized my authorial life has been spent running away from things. I ran away from my insistent editor, from my persistent writer's block, and even from the fans who loved my oh. work. But I feel I've changed now. I'm going to focus on writing the next blocks for my, books for my fans who are out there waiting for them. 
Huh? How about this for a story? The protagonist is a destitute adventurer tracing after treasures. When he shipwrecks on an uncharted planet, he finds a, ra a land of rainbow seas and gleaming mountains of treasure. Oh, wow. But there's also a mysterious shadow stalking him. What do you think? Sounds fun and suspenseful, right? The protagonist fills up his spaceship with treasures, but he's stuck here there without fuel when fierce monsters attack. How will you ever escape from this uncharted planet? I'm beginning to get a clear vision of how the story ends. This one's going to be a masterpiece for sure. Can we get the whole story? I feel like I finally found the light after trudging through a long, dark tunnel. Now ideas are popping into my head like popcorn. Ho, 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 ho. I feel as if I could write a book about anything. No. I needed inspiration for my new book, so this trip was going to help me find that. I never expected to end up stranded. But thanks to that experience, I realized I should keep my mind open to even the most unexpected sources for new ideas. I just need to, you know, figure out how to implement them in my work. I'm not proud of how I acted when my first book received so much praise. I really let it go to my head. It made me believe I was better than anyone else. Even though what it really come, came down to was luck and good timing. Um. I look pale. Well, I had a nightmare last night. My editor showed up in my dream. Oh. He demanded, submit a plan for your next book and get busy writing. Oh. My memories from my time as a leafling are rather vague. The one thing I do remember is the sense of feeling trapped becoming stronger. It's like I was locked up inside of a dark cave. Miru. After witnessing the way you confront an obstacle... Oh, wait, okay. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> That's a lot of dialogue and a lot of that voice, which... It's- it, I always find it funny in editing, and you probably do too, uh, watching me talk to a leafling for the first time. Cause you can see, I'm trying to do some voice that's different, because after- After saving, like, what, 50 leaflings? Eventually, there's going to be some sort of overlap, right? And also, me forgetting what their voice was originally. Cause these guys, a lot of them look exactly the same. But for me to, like, start to deviate, and then you see me lean into the voice fully by the end, I just find it really funny. And it's fun doing it. But doing voices is really fun. I, I kind of pity the people who don't have some sort of outlet in their lives for them to do stupid stuff like that, like D&D &D or recording, or... I mean, the outlets are very few and far between, so if you're not in those hobbies, it's, it's kind of hard to justify it. But it's fun. <laughs> it's the only way you can do it without seeming like a maniac. Air armor plus plus. Ochi is effectively invincible. That's it. Might as well buy some of this stuff too. Come back and see me if there's anything else you need. I was hoping you had some dialogue like, you did all of the science. I was worried I might get tired of creating new gear. He does. But seeing you in action continues to inspire me. And that's saying something coming from me. I usually reserve my compliments for the feats of empirical thought itself. Aha. The plucking whistle. I've spent my plastic. Oops. Our discussion just gave me a brilliant idea. Collect some more raw material and I'd be happy to turn it into a reality. What is your idea? Let me let me see it. Let me see it. Yes. The plucking whistle, 240. Do not waste your time and effort plucking Pikmin one by one. One blow on this whistle will pluck them all at once. The plucophone! Why isn't it called that? That's a better name, and it's one they've already used. I can't get it right now, but eventually I will. Two locations are available, and one of them is our first question mark. First. Challenge rating five. Let's start at the Sylvan Gate. I have a lot of mines. And I'm going to definitely leverage those. Because this is going to be the hardest, the hardest night expeditions in the game. If I don't, 
I can't go into this trying to, like, throw underhand. I gotta use my resources. This is what I've been I've been building them for, so. Pack. I have 40 of these? Oh my word. Yeah. I'm, I'm not playing. We gotta get as many... As many glowmen as possible. And I'm gonna be using a lot of mines here. We're gonna deal with this first. There we go. Okay. Down. Ochi, if you could dig, that would be great. But it looks like you're not going to. That's fine. That's fine. Cool. That one's done. That one's done. Uh, I, briefly, need to go my, to my menu. And assign pick the carrots to mines. There we go. And throw one there. Throw one there. Ochi, go back to base, please, because there is another direction. Looks like we're going to be able to get some enemies. Uh-oh, I just saw that. I was just opening my mouth to say something about it. And then it hatched. And I don't even think that's... That's not the one I'm looking at, is it? There are, there are multiple, multiple smoky progs. Yeah, yeah, there are multiple. Okay, um, kill them. I can't get to that. Unless... Wait, hold on. I need to do this right. Jump down. I can't switch over to Ochi. He's gonna have to just do it. Destroy that, please. Go, go, go. Neutralize the threat. Neutralize it. Come on, break it, break it, break it. Yes, okay, switch. Oh, wait, wait, actually. Sweet, and they started carrying it. Perfect, perfect. Okay, uh, where is that smoky fro frog coming up? He's going the long way. Okay, so he's gonna hit the mines. So I don't really need to worry too much here. I could use more mines. I think I could, but I have enough resources. I think I can take this threat on, on my own. Uh, that's a problem over there, but we'll deal with that in a second. I couldn't get- I couldn't get him. This is what- this is what I was talking about with Ochi. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The dash ready, go! And then switch. Oh no! I'm down here! Whoa, Jeff, you need to fix that pronto! Wait. Wait, Jeff can't fix it. Oh, he can, he can, he can. He just can't do it through the the autopilot. I need to go quick. Oh, and they're gonna be in the way. Gotta kill him quick. Go! Oh, boy! Um, okay. I didn't- I expected that to work. Did not work. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna- we're gonna use our mines. We're just gonna use the mines. Uh, Ochi, did you fail? Hold on. Where's the trick knoll? It's over there. Oh, it- okay, they- they rose to threaten us. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna place you right there, Ochi. You can do it. Yeah, the mines, we're just gonna let the mines deal with them. Be smart about this. Uh, what can I be using my time for? You're here. Switch. Jeff, you know what? Go back to base. Yeah, that's super important. Uh, same with OG. That's a lot of- a lo Oh, wow, the damage! That's insane! They do so much damage! Okay. We have everybody together, which means we can use the, uh, the super attack. Uh, we're gonna briefly switch targets. Uh, Ochi, I want you moving towards that. And how much health does this have? I don't have as many Gloman as I'd want. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. This should finish him off. Come on. I don't think that actually... 
I don't know what gave you that that idea. Come on. Smokey prog down. Smokey prog down. Uh, mine. Boom. Get the get the uh, glow things. The capito. Then get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Go. The luminals under attack. Why? Why is it under attack? What's happening? Oh, that's a lot. Ochi's trying, but he can't. I don't have. I don't have my thing. Please kill. Please kill. Please kill. I might have. I'm using a bomb rock. Okay, he's dead. We need to take care of. We need to take take care of the uh, the dudes, the little dudes. The larva. Take care of that, please. Stat is. I think this might be the last thing, actually. I think. Yeah, this is the last thing. Okay. Let's punch the babies. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. That's it. Okay. That was, uh. That was hectic. And I really didn't. Wait, no, it's not over. Why isn't it over? Who's left? Didn't end. Who? Are there any other enemies? I'm not seeing any other enemies. That's weird. It didn't just end. Also, for some reason, there are um, there are glowmen that are idle over there, and they haven't teleported back to me. That's very odd. And I believe the amount of uh, glow seeds we get scales off of however many glowmen we have at the end of the night. So. It, it is worth our while to sprout them with the little time we have remaining. Yeah, like 52 will probably give us a little chunk. That was hectic, um, and it could have been a lot worse. I, I think I mismanaged my time a little bit. Um, I probably should have had Ochi tackle the prog because he can stun it. I probably should have switched their roles, and I had the time to recognize that that decision. Oh, well, it you know, it, it is what it is. A minor mistake. We passed it. And it's best we learn that lesson now that rather than later. Cool. Nineteen of twenty. There's a twentieth there somewhere. I don't know where. One leafling awaiting cure, and we can actually just go to that right now. Cool, let's do it. No more fanfare. Welcome back from your night expedition. At last, I can make this medicine, and it's all thanks to new blood here. Well done. I'll have the medicine formulated by morning. Just you wait and see. 